I'm Corey Duke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. Happening today, the Tulsa Public School Board will meet for the first time since members voted to keep middle and high school students online through the first of the year. On the top of the agenda, a discussion on enrollment trends. Now, that meeting starts this afternoon at 4 o'clock. Stay with us for details. And students at Skyatook High School will begin learning from home today through November 6th. This move comes after four students tested positive for COVID-19, requiring eight staffers and 120 students to quarantine. And the man charged in the death of Tulsa Police Sergeant Craig Johnson and the shooting of Officer Arash Zarkashan scheduled to appear in court today. David Ware will have a district court arraignment and the judge will hear any motions Ware and his lawyer have put forward. Stay with Two Works For You throughout the day for updates on this case. And tomorrow is the deadline to request an absentee ballot in Oklahoma. As voters in states across the country face deadlines to register or request ballots, new numbers show the country is on track to break voter turnout records of this year. Associated Press estimates that voters have cast at least 58.6 million ballots so far in this election cycle. Already more than the 58 million cast by mail and at early voting sites in 2016. Now let's get a look at your forecast with meteorologist Clint Boone. All right, we got a taste of winter out there. Winter weather advisories northwest of the metro for Osage and Pawnee counties for very light icing a little bit later on today. For the metro, just a cold rain. As you head out, you will need the coats and the umbrellas. Temperatures upper 30s. By the end of the day, those temperatures drop off in the mid 30s. Might be some light freezing rain tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, uh, just a cold rain at 37. Temperatures finally warm up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday sunshine. 60s, Halloween 65, a little bit cooler Sunday with highs in the upper 50s. And that's a look at some of the stories making headlines today. Stay with Two Works for You for updates throughout the day. I'm Corey Duke, Two Works for You.